Hey guys, so this is going to be a video on my scorpion enclosure. Now this is not going to be a rehouse or enclosure build because I did have that video and I edited it all, but I'm stupid and I accidentally deleted it. So I no longer have any of that footage. So now I'm having to quickly film this and edit this before Monday. It's currently Saturday. So I'm sorry if it's not as good of a video, but I'm just going to talk over this enclosure and what I did. So this is a acrylic enclosure from eBay. I love it. I love how clear it is. And it was very simple to build. If you are not familiar with these enclosures, they're actually put together with little rubber bands. As you can see, these are the spares. And they just connect together, kind of like a puzzle. And the rubber bands just go over and it secures it. It's even on these sides right here. There's also the thermometer. This came with a thermometer. It does work, but I took it out because she's not on a heat mat right now. It's summer. It's extremely warm where I live because I live in Australia. So she definitely does not need a thermometer right now or a heat mat. So I took it out so it doesn't spoil. Now, I spent a couple of days building this enclosure. Now, not the actual enclosure build, but as you can see, I've used clay to make a pre-made burrow and a little platform for her water dish, which I will show you. So this is how it turned out. It is air drying terracotta clay. I'll put up a picture of what it looks like on the screen now. And I just kind of handed it and yes, it's cracked, but I kind of like it. It kind of gives the more naturalistic thing. Is it perfect? No, but this was my first time. One thing I love is having the platform for the water dish. Way less substrate gets put in it rather than when she was on full dirt. It would get filled up so quickly with dirt and I would have to change it like a couple times a day. But now it stays very clean. Like I haven't changed this since last night and it's still pretty clean and that burrow there is big enough for even when she grows up does she use it no she's decided to burrow under the rocks which i'll show you in a second which is a little bit annoying but if it makes her happy it makes her happy and for people wondering i am using organic soil she's doing perfectly fine on it I might eventually change her to like reptile sand that is safe for her to add to the more desert kind of look. But honestly, she's doing perfectly fine on this. It's no rush for me to change it. I would like to add more substrate. I've added quite a thick layer so she could burrow and she has burrowed under the rock. But I would like to add more so she can burrow even further. Then we have these two little rocks. Now if I zoom in, you can see her little legs right there and her claws. She's currently under there. I'm not going to go lifting that rock. I do not believe in tearing off the top of hides off any animal. It's like a big pet peeve of mine. That's a safe spot. You shouldn't go tearing into it unless it's a emergency. But I'm just filming, you guys have seen her before. I can pop up a photo if you like of me holding her. This was actually the day I was rehousing her into this. But yeah, she has two nice rocks since they are rock dwellers. And as you can see, she's actually kind of dug under it. So that is fantastic. I'm glad she's happy and she is thriving. I fed her last night for me and she took down great. I gave her a couple days to settle so I didn't hold her or anything. And just a little disclaimer, if you see little bugs flying, like you can see that little bug on the bar, don't worry, it's not uh, mites or ants or anything. It's just these little fly moths that we get in a house in the summer and they are basically everywhere. It's quite hard to avoid it. But they're not harming her. It's not going to kill her. I just wanted to make that disclaimer. Just so people don't think I'm allowing bugs or mites to get in the enclosure. But yes, that is the enclosure.
closure if you're wondering how you open it there are these little locks right here and you just pull it out of the groove there's one on each side and then it opens up nice and wide so you have a lot of working room